Alright, what's for one six player Hella Nerdfinder here and today we're gonna be playing some more a uh, killing of uh, Flora 2. But yeah, you guys actually thought I was not gonna do a uh, killing of uh, Flora 2 anymore, but yep, I'm still gonna do it, cuz why would I change? But yeah, today a lot of people said that Pathfinder only plays uh, solo made, no multiplayer, cuz that's what co-op games are all about. So yeah, today we're just gonna be playing six player Hella Nerd on Ashwood Asylum, and I'm just gonna show you the best method of completing this map, the best camping spot, and if you have a support and a demo, what you can do to easily win. So yeah, pretty much everyone here is from the Discord, and this dude is a friend of... You know, the other dude and dudes and dudettes and uh, let go. Alright, just before we actually hop right into the video, I do want to give a massive shout out to Tom T for pledging $3 over on the Patreon. So yeah, Tom T, really appreciate that freaking support and for that you get the Strasser thumbs up. Thank you, man. Appreciate the support. But yeah, thanks to everyone that's still sticking with me over on the Patreon, because without you guys, yeah, rest in peace is YouTube. So I really do appreciate each and every one of you who donated anything in the past, or are still donating, and though just generally helping out the channel. So yeah, with that being said, let's hop straight into the video. So yeah, if we somehow lose this, yeah, rest in pepperonis. Okay, let me just... Shot... Gun? Goob? Shot goob? Who's gonna take my shotgun? Get ready to Ammo, please. Ha, ah, easy. So yeah, that's kind of like a cool trick you can do with the support if you have, you know, some teammates that actually know what the hell they're doing. Yeah, you can give them the shotgun and they get ammo from you and you get pretty much more ammo, which is kinda neat. So yeah, you're always gonna be spawning there and from that place you just go up the stairs. And that is where the GG and easy part comes in. Oh, that's a... Uh, dude that doesn't wanna die. But he's dead in the end. Werewolf. Animus. But yeah, this place up here, yeah, this is the best place to camp it out. Because you have a door. And you pretty much have just two spots that Zeds can come from. Which is, you know, the door and the stairs. And as long as you have a competent team, then this is pretty freaking epic. But yeah, always fun to have a demolitionist that actually knows what the hell he's doing to door trap the door. And then you just camp it out. And that's how easy this map actually is. I mean, fair enough, there are like multiple spots on this map, you can just like camp it out. But the main spots should be these. Or should I say just spots where doors are closed? Because, you know, with doors, yeah, you can limit the amounts of spawns that actually come. Oh, that's a werewolf. Easily whooped. And I don't think I actually hit the dude. Which he dead. Oh, he is. Never mind. And the door just broke. But I am the support. So I can go and repair it really quick. If I can, anyway, because there's gonna be a lot of things coming. And I don't have any nades. But demo to the rescue. I think. Yep, I just threw it by accident, but should I care? Nah, probably not. Got some kills for it anyway. Okay, just clearing all the stupid ass trash, because I can't be bothered with them, because I don't need to fix the door. Okay, slow motion, I'm reloading like a freaking idiot. Should I care though? Yeah, probably not. Time to weld the door. I mean, I should probably not weld the door, because there's only like 8 left, so like no point. Oh, werewolf. Ha, <laughs> easy. But yeah, I'm gonna be playing today with my preferred loadout for the support nowadays, and you're gonna see what the hell that is gonna be. Okay, I headshotted them and nothing happened. I didn't even get a kill, nice. Well then, so this piece of shit and the first weapon I do like to get is the double barrel. Okay, time for the freaking door trap. Lego. Demo. Wait, where's he at? Oh, here he is. Ha, ah, easy. Knows what the hell he's doing. But yeah, man, I pretty much did, what, like six videos on the Halloween update and I don't have anything else to do for this update because this update pretty much only had five weapons and one map. But yeah, even the seasonal objectives are pretty freaking easy to complete, so yeah, this update doesn't really add a lot of playtime. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, a Pathfinder only complaining, gets free updates and then he complains, meh. I mean, if you actually think this is a decent update for Killing Floor, yeah, you don't know much about about games in general, fam. I'm sorry, but that's how it is. I mean, you can kind of, like, alternate between, you know, being upstairs, being downstairs, just to, like, limit the amount of freaking spawns, if that's something you are into. I mean, I just want to, like, rack up some kills so I can at least get some, you know, weapons for the boss, but fair enough, I'm not gonna be a support for the boss, because that is pretty much just a wasted slot, so I'm just gonna be changing probably into a gunslinger. Okay, the door is still intact, that's what the support should be 
you know, focusing on, on this map, just trying to keep that door welded as much as possible. Okay, do we have anything? We got a freaking fidget spin that I'm just gonna whoop really quick. There we go. Easy whoopage. Maybe heal the teammates, because, I mean, what the hell not? Nope, he's just moving out in the boat. Because Idar was shooting him, I guess. Oh, and now the door just broke, and now let's just throw a nade, because... Yeah, there's probably shit behind. I mean, they really have to fix this freaking door. I know it's like only the beta 1, but some maps to this day still have the same issue, like Monster Ball. But yeah, for those of you who didn't know, the support can actually repair doors. And that is quite a cool ass freaking feature. So yeah, be sure to do it as much as you possibly can. Okay, there's like some shit outside. Oh, look at the amount of nukes. I can't see shit. Looks cool though. Okay, time to quickly fix the door. I don't think any teammate is outside. No, nope, there isn't. So let's keep on welding and we should be good to go. Demo. Request help, yeah? Oh, he knows, he knows. But yeah, man, it's always fun to play with people that actually know what the hell they're doing because some demos, yeah, to this day, some of them don't even know that door traps are a thing. And door traps, you know, in practice, are pretty much kills. You know, free kills, you don't even need to, you know, shoot. Okay, that's a spooder over there. Can I headshot him from afar? I can. Oh, look at that shit, man. Support at its finest. Okay, this commando is getting a lot of kills here. Because primarily the Zeds are gonna be spawning from here. Kind of like a cool little place. Oh, that's a Shrek. The hell is he doing, though? Not entirely sure. Okay, this door, I don't think we need a door trap for it, so I'm just gonna uh, unweld it really quick, because there's, like, nothing here. Just so I don't have to, like, waste time after this wave to repair it. But yeah, this gameplay you're seeing right now, it's not very dynamic, but, I mean, the support, like I said, it's just a support. You know, you support the team, kill the stuff you have to, and repair the doors, and just be, you know, a support. Pretty much. But yeah, like I said in the previous videos, I do like to have this thing upgraded, you know, zero times. Because it is cool just the way it is. So yeah, the main purpose of the Buckshot Revolver is to just kill trash. And that's it. And if you run out of ammo for your double barrel, you can just whip out this thing and it has a lot of ammo. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go help Nif over here a little bit. Maybe have this door right here. Because I do want to have a little bit of action this wave, or should I say this game. Because, you know, just welding doors. It can get boring at times. Okay, the door actually broke. Let's just go and kill him as fast as possible. Here we go. That is a Shrek. Just got annihilated. Okay, what the hell are you doing? Alrighty, man. We will be missed. That's a lot of nukes. Blinding me right up. But should I care? Probably not. Oh, that's a... A Skrook. But is he gonna die, though? I mean, he should. Yep, there he goes. Rest in pepperonis. Okay, door. Get repaired. Oh, they opened it. Which is not good. Let's just chug a nade. Close the door and weld it. Ha, <laughs> killed an alpha clot. And now the door is back up. But yeah, man, the support and demolitionist combination, it's like my favorite combination in Killing Floor 2, man. It's just like so fun. I mean, fair enough, it's like more fun for the demo. Because he's the one getting kills. But I mean, the support gets the credit. Because, you know, he is repairing the door at the end of the day. Okay, that's a, a medic. With the new pretty pointless weapon, if you ask me. I mean, they did buff the Homogoblin, and that thing now is very freaking good. I never thought I was gonna say that, but yep, it's actually pretty freaking decent now. Especially for bosses and big Zeds, because it, you know, slows them down. Oh, that's a flash pound. Should I step on him, though? Probably. And that's another thing, you know, that the support can do. It can step on the Zeds. Can I do it again? Is he gonna be that dumb? Yep, he's gonna be exactly that dumb. My god. And slow motion's happening, so we can just whoop him while he's still falling on the floor. Ah, <laughs> rest in pieces, man. But yeah, like I said in past videos, Pooh the support is, you know, one of my favorites. Just because of all the things he can do. You know, be like a support for the team, give people ammo, get people... You know, some shield, repair doors, jump on things. I mean, the door repair is a little bit slow, but nothing too critical. I do like to get this thing on, like, 95%, and then I like to wait so I can weld it. Or should I say, so I can repair it and weld it at the same time. Back to 100%. Here we go. I mean, fair enough, the wave is actually ending now, so there is, like, actually no point. But, I mean, we don't have to do that once we come back, so it's already there. Oh, the lights are turning off as we go. 
Spoopy. I mean, fair enough, this map is not made by Chiripoir, but it does play very freaking nicely. So yeah, this is how I roll with my support nowadays, and if I have, like, extra money, I do upgrade this thing, I upgrade this thing, and then I also get a medic gun, because why the hell not? Oh, and someone left. Now we're only five. Well then, it's gonna be even easier. Okay, a bunch of dudes just spawning right off the bat. I didn't reload, because why the hell would I actually reload? But I still got the kill. Wait, where the hell are we going? I mean, does it matter if we just, you know, don't go to the same position in three seconds? Not really. I mean, we could just stand here. This is like another cool ass freaking position, and that is a quarter pound just chilling. Sure. Oh, this slow motion man. I mean, with a commander like this that actually knows how to extend slow motion, yeah, it's pretty good if you're a berserker or. or a gunslinger or just like anything that benefits massively from. From this. Oh god, it's a core pound, but easily annihilated. Didn't even headshot him because couldn't be bothered. But he's still dead at the end of the day. Oh, we got some Skrakes here, which is never a good idea. But I think I actually killed him though. Okay, we got another Skrake. Gonna whoop him right up. Easy pickings. Okay, the door is broken and Edars have a lot more shield than anticipated. So I'm just gonna receive grenades. And kill the stupid ass Edars because they are annoying to hell. And someone joined. And he's got furry in the name. He thinks, man. Okay, here we have a freaking quarter pound. But I mean, I can just like stumble him back with my <gasps> double barrel. And that should be easy pickings for, you know, our demo. Oh, I just like the doomstick, man. As long as you aim the headshot perfectly, which is kind of hard with the doomstick because it feels weird. But I mean, if you do it, yeah, it's pretty simple to kill literally everything, especially when it's upgraded once, or should I say fully upgraded. Okay, that is a Skrook. Just dead. Okay, can I go and repair the door? That's gonna be my objective nowadays. Okay, what the hell is this Edar? I swear, man. They're just, like, so annoying. But, I mean, we do have a Husk and more Skrakes. What's he dead? Nope, he's getting up. For some unknown reason. But I just... Shot him in the kneecap, and now he's dead. It's easy. Ten more quarter pounds. Because why would you not have those? Okay, Edar. Yep, that's what I thought. And I don't have this shit reloaded, so I'm just gonna whoop him with <gasps> this bad boy. Because in slow motion, yeah, this thing is a monster. And I just got shot by the other dude, links, man. And I just completed our daily objective, because... Yeah, that was my purpose. Okay, can't even repair the door, but that is a scrake. I mean, just look at the freaking flesh bound. Oh, I don't have that shit reloaded. Oh, that's gonna be sad. <gasps> but nope, we got demo that actually knows how to shoot. And that's always appreciated. Okay, slow motion for freaking ages. Why do you do that? But, I mean, fair enough, slow motion is the best thing in the game. And for those of you who disagree... Yeah, you don't even know what the hell you're talking about. But yeah, we didn't even have to repair the door. And we still won, with a relative ease. Spend freely. Yep. About to get serious. And people say hell on earth is hard. You just have to have some decent players and it's pretty chill. Okay, supports for bosses is not actually a good idea, so I'm just gonna change the perk into the gunslinger. And I mean, I would play with, you know, the rhinos. But I actually can't get rhinos right now, so rest in pieces for those. Well then, who is gonna be the boss? I'm kind of like hoping for an abomination, because apparently that dude... Is now even harder than before. Oh my god. Nope, we get the one dude I didn't want to get. Hans. Of course. Yep, this boss is very freaking annoying on multiplayer. But, I mean, as long as the team knows what the hell they're doing, it should be a walk in the park. Oh, there he is, apparently. Hans. Hans, we good? Okay, just gonna headshot you as much as I can, because this dude... Yep, he is annoying to hell. I mean, especially once he starts to dodge. That's just, like, giga annoying. Okay, that's a spooder. But I mean, Gunslinger just says, nah, man, gonna die. What the hell are you? Okay, got his shield. That's always nice. Okay, I mean, Hans is annoying because he does a lot of damage, yet he spawns flesh bones and scrakes and shit like that. Wait, didn't I buy the magnums? Nope, apparently it bugged out and I didn't get the magnums. Well then, we didn't drop them on the floor. Nope, we didn't drop them on the floor. Okay, guess I'm without ammunition now. Thanks, trader. But yeah, whenever you're changing from the support to something else, yeah, usually something bugs out. I mean, I don't know why the hell everything bugs out, but everything does bug out. And I reloaded just one bullet 
beforehand. Oh, that's just he's just chilling here. Then he's not throwing nades, thanks, man. And that's a husk. But he thought. Okay, Hans is now at his last freaking phase. But I do believe we just have to get the hell out of here because this is gonna be disappointing if we don't. Okay, what the hell is the fidget spinner doing? Okay, I do need some freaking ammunition because the trader said, nah, man, you ain't gonna get the magnums. I mean, I should probably have double checked, you know, but nah, man. Oh, our stem was dying. Okay, can I headshot him a whole bunch? I can. Quarter pound. Get the hell away from my teammates, please. Oh, he actually got away from my teammates. That's a rarity. Okay, heal this guy, because why the hell not? Got some ammo. Let me just go to a corridor, so this dude's gonna be easy to kill. But nope, the door just got slammed. Okay, time to throw a bunch of freaking nades. And there goes our SWAT. Why is he a SWAT for bosses? Is beyond me. Bruh. But I mean, Hans is dead. But yeah, this is Ashwood Asylum on some multiplayer and... Yeah, GG's. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, fair enough, people wouldn't have died if I only got the magnums. But, I mean, glitches are... are glitches. But yeah, man, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.